Hello everyone and welcome back to Boulevard of Glowing Dreams here in a Stalker Hall of Graveyard. So, today we're going to be following up a little bit more with uh, Trapper to get a few more uh, monster kills under our belt. So let's go and see what he has set for us today down in the basement. Hello there. Howdy. Yeah, any work for me. Stalkers are worried about the mutants in the tunnels at the moment. Mutants in the tunnels. Right. So, mutants in the tunnels, let's take a look. Uh, do. Eliminate the unidentified mutants. Okay, where does that take place? It takes place there, way to the southeast, and it passes one of the stashes. So, we'll check that out, and we can grab the stash on our way. Now, let's just check how we're doing for ammunition. Very good on Eliminator. I found that actually the Eliminator, one of the most powerful shotguns in this game. In fact, more or less, Trapper there is the only one that has a... Is the only one there that happens to have a... Shotgun that has more damage to be able to do it. Oh, I'm my hero. Probably it's boosted around somewhere. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, looks like we got bandits on the side. Hmm. Oh, that's a zombie. Hello. One second. There. All of them? Hmm. I'm just looking for your body. Mm, you don't really have anything of interest to me. So I'm just gonna leave you there. Yeah, apparently we've got, a, we've got a zombie problem today. Let's pretend that below that reason. Okay, so we head this way. And the stash should pop up on our HUD, so we don't worry about missing that much. Right, there goes the music, that's good. There's just gunshots everywhere today. Oop. Ah, I can't there. Oh yep, yeah, there's our stash. So let's see what we can get here. Oh, besides radiation poisoning. Drugs. And then that's that wasn't a good sound. Can't get rid of that because we're not going to need it. And we're okay. Okay, so that's interesting. I don't seem to be able to run. Am I that close? No. I'm, I should be fine. Why am I? Oh, because I'm still crashed. I really wish it was more of a toggle system. Than that, but, uh, well, more of a uh, more of a hold to keep going kind of thing. Okay, so whoop. Are these things. Finish up loading, please. Oh, 
these persistent, aren't they? But I think they've lost interest. So let's just get moving. Yeah, as you can see, over a hundred shots on this shotgun now, so we should be okay for ammunition this time around. Yeah, I don't even know what to call those things, jeez. Okay, so... Oh, hello, I know this anomaly. Oh, we've got a paid to come here. Okay, but if we had paid to come here, then we would have missed out on that stash, so... In circles. Well, let's hope they don't think that I'm a better target. Oh, and that is not a place you want to go near because that is a place that could actually get us murdered again and crash. Okay, good. Oh, looks like they finally got him. So, of course, now they're after me. Come on. Where, where'd you go? Come on. I think I may have left off, left off the mountain. Jeez. Okay. So that would seem to be our target. Now let's just confirm. Yeah. Eliminate the unidentified mutants. Uh, someone's been near. Okay, so that's in a tunnel. This is evidently the above ground portion of it. So, let's see, we go around here, we'll probably find the entrance that we need. And then we can... We're probably gonna have to switch on night vision depending on the lighting in this tunnel. Uh, but our eliminator should be more than enough to take down pretty much any mutant that's in there, provided we can get some clean shots. Yep, that is a tunnel, alright. So, ladies and gents, put on your brown trousers. Okay. Let's see what we can find it. Oh, yes, don't forget to quick save. I'd rather not have this end up like the last time where I. To realize too late that I need to save constantly as I'm not anything done. Oh, hello. I don't see anything yet. I can certainly hear it. Oh, hello. That is. A burr. Also, I'm hungry, so I'm just eat some sausage while I stand next to this dude. <laughs> you can take a pounding, can't you? Two of you. How much? One of you has to die eventually. <laughs> 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 
So I should take a med kit. So we go to move. Also, he's Ooh, okay. Hmm. That is those are some tough dudes. Uh well, we have grenades. I think we have a couple of grenades on our person. So, if a grenade doesn't kill these things, I'm not sure what will. Uh, let's turn that off. How many grenades do we have? None, actually. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't use that. Might be able to do that. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we can headshot them. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's it. Oh, jeez, that's what he's doing. He keeps taking away my... Hmm. That's one of his best abilities, it would seem. Just take away my ability to move much. <laughs> I keep using bandage instead of first aid kit. Hmm. I'm not sure how to take these guys on. <laughs> hmm. Right. I could run all the way back to Trapper and ask him, but that'll probably take up the rest of the episode. So I'm gonna look at the wiki, <laughs> and then I'll see if there's a way to kill these guys that will not involve me just running into my death every time. Every time. So, back in a quick moment. So, for purposes of syncing, I'm clicking any key now. Right, so, learned a couple of things. The first is that, indeed, my eliminator shotgun here is perfectly capable of taking these guys down, but mostly at close range. However, you know how it's really bright out here? 
And it's really dark in there. Turns out these guys don't like the light. So if I have my light on, and I charge at him, then I should, then he should recoil from the light, and I might be able to get a good couple of shots in. Or I would be able to if he didn't keep doing that. Oh, come on. Okay, that didn't work out so well. Maybe not wait so long before I try to do that. <laughs> Ah, these guys will be the death of me. Again, but we'll see. So yeah, these are the Boras, and they're basically telekinetic dwarves, for want of a better term. They usually travel in these pairs. Okay, we're good for armor. We are fully loaded on our shotgun. And I'm actually just gonna save at this doorway, so save us a little bit of time. He got me. Hmm. These are gonna be difficult. <laughs> I kind of wish we'd brought grenades. Hmm. Uh, we'll check the map, see if there's anyone around that we can possibly trade with. So, the answer to that is more or less no, as it happens. Uh, but there is a stash of the parking lot that we can go check out. Uh, and other than that, we can... Oh yeah, that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we may have to leave this for another day. <laughs> Just because these guys are really, really irritatingly strong. It'd be best if we had some kind of backup. Hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not really so much that they deal a lot of damage, because they spend most of their time there using their telekinetic shield to make themselves invulnerable to my bullets. It's more that they can make it so that I can't move, and then also give me this pro this problem that they keep yanking my gun out of my hands. Uh, so let's see, where is that uh, stash that was on the thing here? Uh, down the road, along. So, let's see this way. Oop. What has spotted me this time? Oh, it's the dogs. Oh, joy, all of the things are dead. There we go, all dead. A shame I can't loot anything from these guys. They're more or less just pests. Right, and now down here somewhere. Here's a stash for us to collect. Uh, yeah, just past these crossroads up here. Uh, so yeah, we couldn't get to kill the Blue today, it seems. But it was nevertheless an interesting thing to do, and check out. Uh, so we'll check out this stash. Ooh, there's a fiery artifact in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, nevertheless, something really interesting to check out. We met the Bora is our first encounter with them. Uh, different to the controller thing that was in the scary cave or whatever it was back in Zaton. Or Yanov, I mean. Okay, so we need to turn to our right and go this way. Yes, there's the thing now. There's someone in there. Anybody else? Oh, hang on, I know this place. 
This is where we had to deal with Vano's guys. Yes. Okay, well we need the Whoa! <laughs> Grenade. We need this place down here and oh joys, there's a lot of things by the sound of it again. Yeah, there they go. And a bunch of doggies. Oh, but they're concerned with that boar, so... Whoa! And this is a field. Great. Who the hell puts a stash inside of a field? An anomaly field, jeez. Oh, looks like it's in that car. Right next to where this is all taking place. Great. Okay, mate, moving on. E. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, stay away. Ding. Jeez, there's a lot of you. F1. No, 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 I'm not dying to a bunch of dogs after that. There we go. Took me a while, but I got them all. How's my armor doing? Yeah, a little bit damaged, but could be worse. Okay, so around here somewhere is... Hopefully not near that. Uh... Oh, hello. Hey, a grenade! And that guy appears to be a zombie, so we'll take him out of range. Okay, he's dead now. But he didn't... Whoa! Move, move, move! Bleeding. Jeez. Quick save. Jeez. Right in way. Okay, so that was interesting. Wasn't there something about this place? Something about this train? Hmm. There probably being something about this train, but I can't remember what it was exactly. to be an open door. Hmm. Interesting. I presume we have to climb something to get in there. Oh well. Hmm. Well anyways, that's been an interesting day here at uh here in the uh, exclusion perimeter of Chernobyl. So uh, I think we'll call an episode. And I shall catch you all next time when I have procured grenades. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favourite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.